The International Mother Language Day is observed every year to promote linguistic, cultural diversity and multilingualism. This day recognizes that language and multilingualism can advance inclusion and sustainable development goals, focusing on leaving no one behind. This year's theme set by UNESCO focuses on using technology for multilingual learning, plus TV Africa's Ngozika or HAC has more in this report. Language plays a vital role in development and in ensuring cultural diversity. It is estimated that over 400 languages are spoken in Nigeria, with major languages Hausa, Yoruba, Ibu, Fufide, and Ibibu, among others. Sadly, there seems to be a threat to traditional languages, and Nigeria is not an exception. It is quite common to see young Nigerians who cannot have simple conversation in their mother tongue as globalization takes the center stage. They always speak English when I'm at work, but if I'm at home, I'd always speak my language. I speak my mother tongue often, most especially if I'm with my people, or if I'm with any of my tribal or person. But the situation whereby I am not with them, I don't speak that language. I don't speak my mother tongue except I'm in my house, or except I see a friend or anybody that speaks the same language with me. So most likely I do English all day. Acting Director of Research and Studies at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs, IFEM Ubi, helps on this year's theme, which focuses on advancement of languages through technology. Every language is supposed to have characters, you know, and uh, accent that helps to pronounce the words. Now, you see, people are supposed to have done that, you know, and be able to come up with this uh, uh, character and the pronunciation of words using the accent, you know, how it should be written, the sense of the language itself for technology to be, you know, for us to leverage technology in making this uh, language more um, uh, accessible in terms of uh, people learning these languages, you know, through uh, say, multimedia technology, um, learning this language through um, uh, uh, the 21st century technologies like the computers, the internet, and all that. Ubi insists Nigerian education system must be standardized with a nationally accepted language. For me, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be sounding um, um, uh, funny in a way. You see, the Pidgin English, English, it's something that has bind Nigerians together. So if we can create a language out of the Pidgin English, because if you go to the north, you want to speak. For a northerner to understand, you speak the Pidgin English, you can't speak Hausa. You come to Lagos, you speak the Pidgin English, if you can't speak Yoruba. Or you, come, you go to any other Yoruba town. If I go to Igbo uh, uh, states, you know, within that speak the Igbo language, and I'm not from Igbo, the only national language that is binding on is the Pidgin English. In a country where the lingua franca is the English language, the question is, how can the wide gap of local languages and English be closed? Perhaps a conscious effort from the home front may go a long way. Ngozika or Haichesi, Plus News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.